Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm gonna fly the Viper, which I haven't flown for, uh, for quite some time. And uh, Gainful here in front of me, got a few options of jets to choose from. So this is a Bandit Unknown, basically. Let's see what he's gonna choose now. Almost at the merge here. I'm coming fast. That is a Hornet. All right, merge with a Hornet. So I don't wanna get slow. My first turn is really good. Almost had nose on there, trying to get some shots. I know I'm slow now, but I'm in a pretty offensive position, so I think I got him at the first turn. So I'm on the offensive side now. I'm gonna try to put rounds on target here. Just not getting any hits. Maybe he's a little bit too far there. go on his six let's put the nose on and try to get him it's hard to see him he's doing all those counter uh, nose counter maneuvers which is pretty cool it's hard to hit him oh no closure closure uh, I messed it up I messed it up he managed me to make me overshoot that's not good Okay, now I'm on the defensive and he got me slow, so I think I screwed this fight up. I'm dropping my nose to get in my speed as fast as possible. He's already have shots off. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. The topography here, uh, I hope it's gonna help. He's on my six. Oh, there we go, he got hit. Oh. It's not good. Okay, the jet feels a little bit heavier now. He did some some sort of a damage. Okay, I'm using the mountains here to cover. He's still back there. Not good. That's not good at all. All right, let's try to take him into a raid fight where he should lose. And, oh, of course, broke my wing. Yep. That was stupid. That was on me. Didn't manage my closure speeds. Manage closure, guys. Last round was a uh, poor energy management on my side, so I'm gonna try to uh, try to I'm gonna try to be better now. But uh, I gotta tell you, the Viper is an awesome jet. I haven't flown it for quite some time in a dogfight, but uh, every time I come back to it, is it's just the whole test, the way it works. It's just awesome. I remember everything, and it's really comfortable. I already know what I'm doing. I already know what to press. It's it's really it's really awesome. I like this jet. Almost at the merge here. What do we have? That's another Hornet. I figured he's gonna take another Hornet after he won the, the previous round. Now I'm gonna try to stay away from him a little bit because the Hornet can pull instantaneous AOA, gain a lot of angle in, in a matter of seconds. So I'm kinda staying away now and I'm paying attention to where I maneuver in relation to him. Pulling through his high six, and not and trying to avoid to uh, cross his nose or present an angle where he can just pull and uh, point his nose at me. I know I'm slow now, but I got the altitude, and it looks like he pulled really hard to actually try to take a shot or try to pull me into his hut. So I know I'm slow, but I'm in a great position, so I'm gonna take advantage of that. Might actually get a shot here. 
come on. All right, still in a great position. I'm gonna try to do my best to stay here. He's gonna try to make me overshoot, like before. I know he's gonna do that. Maybe, maybe some shots. Almost had him there. Not sure if I hit him or not. Doesn't look like it. He's purely defensive now, and I'm in a great position. All I need now is to stay here. That's it. Stay here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the shot at some point. I'm not gonna let him uh, make me overshoot again. I'm trying to. Oh, that was really close. Did I hit him? Nope. I don't think I hit him there. Yeah, he's purely defensive. He's trying to counter, to do uh, nose counter maneuvers. But he's way too slow. There we go. There we go. That was a great shot. All right. Splash Hornet. fly the Viper, it does require you to somewhat master the raid fight and know the jet capabilities and limits, and I'm not that good at it. I'm not good at a raid fight at all, and I do need to get familiar with the Viper a little bit more in dogfight, but uh, if there are any jet to practice a raid fight, it's the Viper. Great visibility without that canopy bow and other jets, and obviously it's a raid fighter, and just, it's awesome. What do we have here? That's a flanker. All right. All right, a flanker. I actually made him to somewhat Syrian lead turn. That's a J11 right there. I'm on him, and I'm not going to let go. I'm a little bit afraid of those uh, Cobra maneuvers, but I think I will have him now. Come on. Is that a hit? No. Come on. Ah, I'm missing. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. There we go. Nice. Yeah, that will be enough. Alright, Splash Fanker. With that kind of turn and, uh, you know, do Making some offset before the merge allowed me to make him a uh, somewhat Syrian lead turn me. All right, last round. I hope he's gonna gainful here is gonna choose something interesting for us to fight against. By the way, I was pretty surprised with a previous flanker fight that was uh, over fairly quickly because the flanker can fight the same way that the hornet uh, fight. It's got its AOA capabilities. He just need to. Try to make the Viper slow and then play his own game at the one circle fight. I think because I made him somewhat Syrian lead turn and obviously he fell for it. That what made me win so fast. But the flanker is a very capable jet. What do we have here? I think that was a Jeff. Not sure. Going to the vertical, and I'm gonna gain. There we go. Great turn. That yeah. This is the Jeff, JF17. I'm not sure about the JF17 because that jet can actually surprise you. And I'm talking about DCS. I don't know anything about the real jet, but in DCS, this jet can surprise you in the one circle fight. It can actually pull a lot of AOA and stay pretty stable. Got him right here. I'm gonna try to drag him into a raid fight. I'm not sure if he's, yeah, he look, it looks like he's trying to do the opposite. He's trying to point his nose at my nose. So it looks like he wants the one circle fight. I'm not going to let him do that. Somewhat of a downward spiral like that. And I will be in the raid fight, which I'm already in, but I'm... <laughs> I kind of provided my six o'clock there. <laughs> okay, the Jeff have a huge advantage, uh, disadvantage, which is his gun. 
the gun is pointing down because it's an air to ground gun so he needs to get really close to take the shots so I'm gonna stay focused here in my wraith fight and try to outrate him essentially play the viper game there we go into the raid fight the topography here is pretty challenging there we go into the raid fight I'm already coming around the circle fairly fast there he is right there in the valley now got him locked now I'm gonna pull him into the HUD Okay, he reversed the turn. In the one circle fight, we're both slow. Okay, that's it. I'm in this fight. I'm gonna try to take it. I'm gonna climb up. No, 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 no. Avoid his nose. There we go. I'm gonna make him be in front. And I'm gonna win this fight. If I'm gonna be able to do that. I'm pulling up. stay as slow as possible to make him shoot in front of me looks like I did it there we go there we go come on nice got him all right I would not recommend anyone to do that with a Viper this is not where the Viper wants to be but uh if you're there man you're there